Hi, it's Lura with Living a Lot. I woke up with some back pain this morning, pretty severe, and decided to do some work, sat at the computer, worked on emails and, and other things. And then when I got up out of my chair, the pain was still present. Um, I find that even intense pain can be pushed through when it's dull pain and not sharp pain. And so I decided to take a walk at the lake. And that's where I came home with a new insight. You see, today is May 29th, 2014. And as I was walking at the lake, I was describing my pain to myself and going through the process of chronic pain release. I haven't had back pain in several years. And I haven't had this level of pain very often in the last 20 years. You see, I had back surgery 20 years ago. And in my lowest disc of, of my back, I have half a disc removed. So there, uh, there's often some weakness there. And I was walking at the lake describing this pain to myself. And 0 to 10, about a 14. But because it was dull pain and not sharp pain, I was able to keep going and push through. And I used the process, got it down to about an 11, then got it down to about an 8, and got it back down to about a 6. But it, it wouldn't shift. And I kept thinking, did I sleep wrong? What, what did I do? And I concentrated on the sensations in my body and continued to walk and to use the process for chronic pain release. And all of a sudden, as I was walking, I kind of, my back kind of gave, it kind of jarred like it was going to go out. And the word weakness came up in my mind. So I thought, this feels like a weakness in my back. And I thought, well, I did have back surgery 20 years ago. And then it hit me. And I came home after working on some memories that were long buried from May 29th, 1994, which was a Sunday of Memorial Weekend. And after coming out of church Sunday morning and getting in the passenger side of my car as my husband was driving as I slid into the car my back blew that disc blew in two directions one went through the nerves and one surrounded the nerves and it was the following Wednesday since it was more more weekend before we made the hour and a half trek from Duncan to Oklahoma City and got up to Mercy Hospital where the doctor could not unfold me in order to do an MRI by the time I uh, went through those days and uh, even on on medication they couldn't unfold me from a fetal position in order to do x-rays so he just put me in the hospital and said we're doing surgery in the morning best thing that ever happened um, got rid of headaches I'd had since I was 15 but the amazing thing, the amazing insight I had at the lake was that indeed May 29th, 1994 was when my back blew, but it was following a conversation I had had with our pastor as my husband was suffering from depression and some other illnesses and the pastor had blatantly told him that if he was unhappy it was okay to leave leaving me and his son and my two daughters in an abandoned situation both financially and emotionally and as I realized that walking around the lake I started to experience panic and anxiety I've still got a little bit of it but recognizing a conversation that I had completely eliminated from my mind since then um, working on that getting the pain down to about a three so I've still got a little work to do but I wanted to capture this insight and let you know that even though I had had surgery 20 years ago and I've done work on this off and on uh, many modalities, energy modalities, all kinds of modalities, um, my body remembered the date. My body remembered the event. 
my body remembered the conversation that was still stored in, in my lower back, in my cells, which lower back, if you look at Louise Hay or Anna Seagal uh, or any of those mind-body experts, lower back is finances and uh, relationships, and that was exactly what I was going through. So even though my back pain returned this morning, uh, rearing its head, it is a beautiful reminder that 20 years ago today, I began my journey looking for the healing modality that would help release chronic pain. And today I have the delight to work with people and watch chronic pain melt away and even experience it myself while walking around the lake on a beautiful early summer day in Oklahoma. So I want to let you know that even when it comes back, there's a reason. And there's also a beautiful message to help you not only let it go, but be grateful you had it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.